Hello, everyone. In the previous lesson, we learned about the bandwidth and transmission distance of microwaves. For a communications system, reliability is also very important. Today we will discuss the reliability of microwave transmission. In our line of work, we often hear two terms, reliability and availability. So what is the difference between the two? Reliability in layman's terms refers to how often a system encounters faults. Within a given period, the fewer the faults, the higher the reliability. Reliability is often expressed in terms of mean time to failure, MTBF. For example, 10 years or 87,600 hours. To give an analogy, phones are of high quality and can be used for three years without problems. They are reliable. Non-branded phones are of poor quality and need to be repaired often. They are not reliable. Availability is the length of time the system can be used over a given period. The shorter the time of unavailability over a given period, the higher the availability. Availability is expressed as a percentage with nines. Five nines availability means the system is available 99.999% of the time. An example of high availability is when we make phone calls and voice is clear and smooth. That means the service availability is high. Conversely, when calls are often not connected, the voice quality is poor and unclear, and calls are often dropped. That means the service availability is low. Let's take a look at the following formula. Availability equals the mean time between failure divided by the total time, and then multiplied by 100%. The total time is the sum of MTBF and the unavailable time. Within a given period, the higher the availability, the shorter the time of service unavailability. For example, 99.999% availability means that each year the time of unavailability is less than 5 minutes. If the availability is 99.9%, the time of service unavailability each year is less than 8.76 hours. Microwave devices have the same 5 nines reliability as other communications devices. To handle various outdoor environments, outdoor microwave units have an even higher requirement for reliability. When we talk about the reliability of microwave transmission, we are actually referring to the availability of microwave links. For microwaves operating in traditional frequencies, the availability is usually 5 nines, but the availability index may be adjusted based on service requirements. Assuming the same terrain and weather conditions, reducing availability increases the bandwidth and transmission distance of microwave links. For example, an E-band with 5 nines reliability has a short transmission distance and in practice the links are designed to be 99.995% available. From the following figure we can see that 1. Given the same bandwidth, lowering availability increases transmission distance. For example, a link with a bandwidth of 737 megabits per second has a transmission distance of 1.46 kilometers under 59's reliability. But at 99.9% availability, the transmission distance increases to 8.8 .8 kilometers. 2. Given the same distance, lowering availability increases bandwidth. For example, for a transmission distance of 4 kilometers, the link bandwidth is 368 megabits per second at 99.99% availability. And at 99.9% availability, the bandwidth can reach 1.1 gigabits per second. Microwave technology is already widely used within the communications industry, with over 50% of mobile backhauls using microwaves and a global deployment of 3 million hops as of 2015. Additionally, microwaves can be deployed in the harshest environments. For example, in extremely cold environments, 
extremely high altitude, extremely hot environments, and humid environments. Microwaves can function normally in all of these environments, showing its reliability as a communications technology. That's all for today's class. Thank you for listening.